does it say glazes out? If it says glazes out on Facebook, I'm gonna change it now. Checking now on my phone. I don't know why you're coming to close this out, but it's a, a protest against Jimmy Savile documentary being made by the BBC. Smash like, uh, shout out, it'll be starting shortly. We should start in shortly, so make sure you tune in. Make sure you like, so. Stay tuned in, that's what it's about. Start Hello, visual culture. Um, if anyone has anything to say on the matter, you can contact me through email. But everything I'm saying is 100% true, factual. I've showed you the facts, I've read the reports out to you, and still there's no accountability.
demanding it, demanding it. So will the people. So, so yeah, exactly. Stop watching the BBC. Stop being a TV license. Many ways you can do that. You can look online to show you how to do that. And we know that the more people coming away from paying the TV licenses now. Thank you, Bretano. Thanks for watching. Start working on that film a few designs. Shared it out on our page designer. Yeah, the 30 mile law is something I want to push around the country with 
pay for petition. We tried to do it online, it stopped at 1400. I don't for one minute believe only 1400 people out of all them groups decided to sign that petition. I believe it's been hampered with. Therefore, I'm going to go on tour this year with my pay for petition. It starts today. We'll be asking people to sign today. We'll be handing out to get signatures. Um, 30 mile lawyers to make sure no paedophile or no sexual offender can live with 30 miles of the person and the victim, which is they have for years. Which we know already has not happened in any other parts of the country. Uh, the paedophiles being put one back into... One place has happened, and that's Runcorn. Runcorn. And that's with Vanessa George. She's not allowed to return to Runcorn. But it doesn't happen anywhere else. It doesn't happen anywhere else. It happened there. That's the only, only case. I've looked thinking, have they actually done this? So can it be done? And I've looked and it's been only one instance in the UK and that's Vanessa George. It's, back in Runcorn. it's not good enough. No, Across the country, innit? Let's have a look at it. You know, Abdul Rauf, I'm going to say... I can't kind of mention his name, it's like I'm picking on it, it's because I am. Tell us, say the yeah, names, say the names. Abdul Rauf, um, Adil Khan, these guys, you know, he got six years, he was eight, 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 in two and a point seven months, so he didn't even serve half of his sentence, it was under half, he was released. Within six months he was picking up kids from school, I highlighted it, I made a video of it, I showed everybody, this guy sat outside the very school that he was abusing children from. He then was pictured by us, and others taking pictures, delivering for Uber. We gave that to police and nothing's happened. He's just allowed to continue because he's had permission from probation to do these things. So I just want, I want to recap on that. Abdul Rauf, he was a taxi driver at the time of his arrest. He was also a delivery driver for uh, the takeaway involved. Sizzlers was involved? Yeah, Sizzlers. Yeah, Sizzlers. Yeah. yeah, he was involved delivering for Sizzlers. Um, so then they say, okay, now he's served his sentence, now his license is up, he can go back to delivering food. No. You imagine him not your daughter being a survivor of his uh, 49, so it could quite easily be your daughter who's sat there at home, who orders a few pizza for her and her kid, now they're all in the 20s, you know? So the guy comes to the door and it's your abuser. What do you do? You hit him, you're in trouble. Should he be allowed to come to your door? That's what the first mile laws protect. Yeah. Stop that from ever happening again. It's re abusive, it's unfair, and it, it, to survivors it sets them way, way back to the beginning. They've got to start all over again. You're talking now 14 years nearly passing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. These girls that have had to recover from that horrible thing that happened to them, they've had to recover, and now it's just been thrown straight back in the face. Not just the girls, the families and that. And, Everybody um, involved. You know, in a lot of the cases, there's threats I, 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 and violence I, 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 towards people myself, who It really traumatises me because I've helped till some of these girls recover. Yeah. So to see them back to square one, yeah. it, 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 it traumatises me. It does, it does. Um, but it's not about me, it's about them girls. It's about accountability and justice. That's why I got here today, outside the BBC. Not the first time over the last No, it won't, certainly won't. And, um, there's more coming up. We can do a lot more things. Like Billy says, he, he wants to, us to stop paying. The, you can stop paying your TV licence. Uh, BBC now is already under pressure because they're wanting to bring back uh, making pensioners pay for the licence. Because less people are paying, are paying a licence, which is no money for them. And that's where it hurts them hard. So um, look into the money it, all this. The power, the power they have, which is held over the people in the UK to hide news from you. This is what they're using that power to do. They're, they're keeping news from you and telling you just what their political friends want them to tell you. What, what's best for them. It's not always best for you. Um, it's about time we called this mainstream media. Right? I'm not saying all media is bad. I'm saying all mainstream media is lying to you and it's not telling you the truth. No. That's what these guys do, all these YouTubers. They're only here because they want to tell you the truth. This is a war. Air kids, we are at war. Air kids are in danger. And the first casualty of war is the truth. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Thank you, Billy. No Thank, worries, you, guys, no worries, Thank you, my man. Thank you. Thank you, man. Got anything else to add that I missed before I came over? Go on, get in touch. I'm just trying to think what we're back now. Trying to... So, so, yeah, so uh, before the we'll time we went to go, you yeah, it's, go, it's going. Right, okay, so we're here again today outside the BBC. We're making a stand, as you can see from the signs, we're making a stand against the up and coming documentary about Jimmy Savile. Jimmy Savile was a prolific paedophile who was employed by the BBC. Much of his abuse took place within the BBC, facilitated by the BBC, along with staff of the BBC, complicit, for example, producers who knew, assistants who stood on the door outside when he was in the room abusing children, they knew. Will this documentary name these people? No, they won't. It won't be. This is to tell you, 
Jimmy Savile did this and he did it all on his own. We don't believe that, we know that to be false, therefore we're making a stand against its makings. Um, we don't want it to go ahead. Don't think we'll make much difference and still go ahead, but we've voiced their concerns. The survivors of Jimmy Savile themselves have voiced their concerns that they don't want this to go ahead. So maybe now it's time for the BBC to listen to these people and maybe it's time for the BBC to reform its corrupt ways. Um, the lies it's been telling, this spin that it's doing, it's the same spin as three girls. I don't need to be caught it when I was speaking to the other lad, but... I don't know if I came over in time. Right, okay, so three girls was a rock, where I'm from is Rochdale. The abuse happened in my town of Rochdale with the mass grooming scandal. Yeah. Um, we all, it's everybody knows. When they showed the programme of three girls on the BBC, they did so knowing there was 49 girls involved. They did so knowing 1,400 men were involved, yet they only named nine, they only named three girls. It's incorrect, it's misinformative, and what it did do is put other children in Rochdale at danger with so many paedophiles being unaccountable in the borough of Rochdale and the further afield when they knew, they knew, BBC knew. Sarah Redbotham had a meeting with the BBC. Sarah Redbotham was the whistleblower from Rochdale. She was in on the three girls uh, title. We totally, we was up in arms against it because for us, it was 49 children, not three. Yep. Um, so it's the same thing. They span that to make us think it was just three girls, nine groomers. All the nine groomers are in jail. The three girls have all got the support they need. When in fact, there was another 47, 46 girls still needing support. There was another 1,200, 1,300 and odd because child abusers on our streets. Yep. And just finish off with a bit about PAG UK, what PAG UK's mission is. Yeah, so we've got met, we started off with just about putting pressure on people like the BBC, like the government, like the Labour Party in Rochdale, because that's who sits at the head of all the scandals in our town. Um, it's trying to hold these people to account, and now it's turned into something a lot bigger, so now we're doing a bit of off work, we do a lot of outreach work, we do a lot of support, survivor support, we do a lot of uh, media work, we're doing a bit of everything now, it's grown to the point where we're helping make a difference, you know. Uh, but I walked straight away from my roots, which is holding these people to account for the past billions. That's why I'm here today. Cheers, man. Give you some more of the signs.
going going more forward, I'd rather kids not drink beer me or small weed. I'm like that. Uh, I don't think kids should be drinking until uh, the 21 minimum, legally. Yeah. And parents should uh, watch what the kids are drinking. All, all that's to make our kids vulnerable and more susceptible to abuse. Remember, Jimmy Savile picked on fucking really ill kids and stuff like that. They're the, the most vulnerable of our society. He's picking on them. The, It'll be starting shortly. Sure you liking, you serving. If it doesn't start shortly, I'll just get some more interviews and make the video with interviews. Jimmy. Google up BBC, Jimmy. I'll Jimmy come over Sample, now. See what it says. Look at all the stars and you can fail to say anything. Yeah, man, I'm good. I've good. been out for a couple of months and I was actually going to do a jacket. I had enough. She's got to me all. But 
Not yet. You were something I was going to talk about, but I'm not fighting. There's uh, big stuff going on in Manchester. That's one of the reasons why it's pulled me out, because it just can't stop. It's, um, but, um, I can't get the full stream yet. It's mad, I know what's happening. But it's crazy. It's absolutely mental. I was going to do a talk on it. I still might do some of these bits that I try to get hold of them, this mother and the girl's boyfriend. Yeah, you can't talk about it yet, that's not yeah, talking about it, isn't it? Well, I don't know enough of it, I, I know parts of it. If I'm right, yeah, I was actually going to pray, 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 which I've never done. Oh, nice to see you. Yeah, that's oh, not like her. Give me your fist bump. That's alright then. You're doing alright, yeah. Right, I've got to have a good job there. Oh, lovely, good job there. I nearly could have resigned that day. I'm going to be in some part of it. Oh, he's been straight on. Yeah, all the traffic. My life was late when he got jammed up. Oh. The police were stopping cars. Under both cars, Justin Town, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Vaccine passport. Listen, I've got my fist. I might try and make it down to that one. Yeah, we'll have a walk around that hall, won't we? Can't be them, don't we? I can't keep them. Yes. Yeah. Games that did me in the Liverpool the last two ones for the uh, care workers. Yeah. Oh, I've got a great James and I went for the care workers. It's mental. That's what I want to do. So I had to get all this story proper. And I got told about this. Before we miss it, it's easy now. Just leave it. So you've been up to. You haven't been much on or big demonstrations. Has there been anything to do with United going on still? There's a small place that's part of it. That's part of it. I'm loving the reality. Jill. 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 I know it's not my fault you have to change your name 100 million times on live. I'm on live, aren't I? Oh, you're online, right, right. Well, I'm, I'm getting in, I'm getting in. Yes, Jimmy. Come here, come here, Jimmy. Come on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go on, I'll get a bit of your back to four. Just, uh... Yeah, yeah, well, you stand here. You stand here, come on. Let's bounce back and forth off each other. Um, yeah, yeah, what brought yeah. you out here? Big John and Jimmy here. Yeah. Some of the, a couple of the best children's campaigners. In, in Great Britain, let me tell you. Right, I, th I think Jimmy might surpass me, but I remember the first time you come to Disbury Mosque yeah, yeah, a while yeah. back, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, and, and, and got active. That's right, without a doubt. Um, it's great what was happening there, wasn't it? It was. Um, again, we're just sick of the BBC, ladies and gentlemen. We're sick of the no accountability of anyone to do with any kind of rape on our children. The police are never held to account. Councillors are never held to account. Um, 
and the people who are supposed to look after our communities, whatever, are never held, held to account. Social services never held to account anywhere. In any case, no matter whether it's rape gangs or Jimmy Savile child abuse, no one is held to account. And um, it's wrong, isn't it, Jimmy? It's more than wrong. That's why we're out now. I'm not well. I've been out for a few months. You know, but we've come to here to support the children and PAG UK, who have called it. It's an absolute disgrace. They're trying to say, like, TV7, no, nobody's claimed he even knew. It's all the bollocks, to be true. But fucking all knew. They all knew. Esther Hansen knew. We're not a shy of a doubt. They did it, and they're trying to do a, a documentary. And do you know what? It'll be to cover up anything that they they knew that didn't know. It, they, they, it shouldn't even happen. It shouldn't happen. That man was the most disgusting. They, they all knew what was going on. They flew in New York to Siddle Smith, MP, deceased in Rochdale and all. And I've been to uh, London many a time, screaming there. I even said that Lord Steele knew all about it. Lord David Steele knew all about it. A few weeks later, it came out uh, that he, he knew. He knew he got suspended from the uh, Liberal Party. And probably back now, he's an old man. He slipped up, saying he's going to retire. It's an absolute disgrace what's going on. These people here, the people at the top, knew what Jimmy Savile was at. There was people actually took children to Jimmy Savile. It's a fact, and yet they let him get away with it. People, people didn't want to lose their jobs and didn't want to lose that. So these people are living in nice houses, got nice cars now. That was a cost of children to <laughs> give to this Jimmy Savile. It's so all right, honestly, it's so all right. And, uh, we, there is a lot of evidence towards that, towards these people knowing and not saying anything um, due to whatever political correctness or whatever. And we don't want that. As I said before on my live stream, there's no mainstream political party at the moment that has anything in to do with our kids and, and the protection of our children. And uh, they do have things in about education, but on, on the basic fact of protecting the most vulnerable of our society, which is the children and old people, there's no political party, does it? It's like they're not bothered, you know what I mean? Well, I am bothered and everyone here at LC is bothered. I've come here many a times, I've said the same speech, and no matter what colour you are, if you mess with our kids, you're gonna get called out. Exactly, John, exactly. We don't, as I always say, we get called far right, we get called racist, and we say it and say it again. We don't care if you're black, you're Asian, you're white. We don't care if you're Muslim, you're Christian, you're in, you do, a Sikh, and a Jew. If you're touching the children's country, we'll call you out. Christian man, not the greatest Christian man, but a Christian man. I call the church out, because I know it's happening in there. We don't, we don't hide it. But this has got to stop the rape of the children. It's going on, there's something really big happening in Manchester. And I've found out about it, but I can't get the full story, I'm scared of saying anything. But I do know there's an international child trafficking organisation working right this minute in Manchester. That is 100% fact. Well, well, the come to child trafficking, uh, there's been trafficking incidents in um, older, maybe not so to do with children, but child trafficking is a big thing across the UK. Again, people don't want to say anything about it, and people won't say anything about it. And we're just not having it. We're, we're just not having that. Um, like I said, if you have a problem or you think that I'm saying something that's false, you can contact me on my email, johnlawrence40.mail.co.uk. Talk to me. Talk to me. Tell me your story or tell me what you think. Of what I want to know, but I don't say things, me, without it already being factual. If you want to look about Jimmy Savile, just go through Google and start looking at some of the pictures, uh, at some of the stories, looking. Victims have said things, but they're, they're more or less ignored. Nobody really wants to know, so, but yeah, so come on, come on, defund the BBC, stop paying your TV license. What's the TV license? <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Amanda, are you live there? I am. Oh, yes. how are your she rolls it down your right, iPod? And, um, it is, um, but you know, um, I've been here about 20 times media sitting, I've said the same things, I call them out. I mean, besides the child abuse and everything, the media's fake anyway, they'll, they'll lie about everything, don't they? They'll lie about everything. They'll portray people, they, they, I've had people here portraying me to be um, far right something or other for protecting kids in Airwood. <laughs> You know, sticking up for kids in Airwood. Yasmineera Khan and Katie Razzle. And every time I come here, I always tweet them and tell them to come and talk to me, but they won't do. 
exactly what I do. But the thing is, I'll be running as a counsellor next year. If I got in as a counsellor, these people would want to talk to me then. You know what I mean? But what do I do when she comes up? If I'm a counsellor, she comes up to me. Well, I'll talk to you now. No, I don't want to talk to you. You know what I mean? You, you've already said false things. You won't even face me or anything like that. And uh, Katie Razzle, Yasmin, Yasmineera Khan did a video on me. Tracy Blackwell, James Goddard. Um, she obviously lied about Tracy Blackwell's case because she said, uh, Katie Razzle says that the lad um, lost control of his car. Never. The crash report states that he, kept, he had control of his car. So she's lied about Tracy's case. And someone who lies about his Tracy's case may be lying to my face. So I've called her out every time I've come down here, mate. Every single time. Shouted and screamed at that building. And I always will do. So, but thank you very much, everyone. And, and I, I hope Active's doing all right in Poland as well. He's, he's on his rounds in Poland. So um, watch out for his feeds and stuff like that. And please donate to him. He's, uh, he's on uh, um, eight towns in one day, isn't he? He's doing eight towns in one day with his digital van that will be in the north soon. He's, I know, certainly know he's going to Rochdale and he put, put around Yorkshire, South Yorkshire will be in Rotherham. Um, please sub, um, subscribe, watch his videos and donate to him. Thank you very much. Thank you. Do tell us a bit more about your channel, John? I've uh, seen you've channel, been channel va traveling around the UK, do I tell us about, about Yeah, that. Um, I, I go all over the place. I've got a YouTube channel, John Lawrence. Uh, you can find me on Facebook. I have a Facebook um, page as well called In The Box. Um, I, I do focus a lot on child abuse. It depends what it is. It could be rape gang, Jimmy Savile, anything. Anything to do with our kids is, is a priority to me. But um, I travel all around the country, but I'm coming into local counselling next year, so me, 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 the age of demos is stopped for me. I won't be doing so many demos. I have to focus on me counselling. But if you have any ideas, if you want to step up to be a counsellor, contact me and I can give you some advice, maybe point you in the right direction. I'm, a, I'm an experienced canvasser um, and, and I'm, I'm a good speaker as well uh, and I'm very confident. But, um, but like, like again, find me on Facebook, John Lawrence. Um, YouTube, my YouTube channel, you can find me there. And I do a lot of posted things, but thank you. Cheers, man. <laughs> Good, <ain't it? laughs> oh, it's cold today, isn't it? it is. Well, everyone said that, but I don't think it's that cold, me. Yeah. Are you yeah, alright? It oh, is a bit chilly up here. It's cold. It's definitely chillier here than it was in court. Well, when I, when I got off the bus and got on, it was a 15 minute walk that I did in seven minutes. <laughs> yeah, you will be there. Oh, no. Sorry, I It's just with it being a mid terrace, it's literally overlooking by everybody else. And we've got that, we've got like a block of flats right behind us. Right. Okay, it's all right, it's Christian. Is it, is it a, a sealed backyard or a back gate? Yeah, yeah, all yeah, right. it's all ours. So got... kids can just um, lounge in backyard, yeah, yeah. not off, have to worry, not to worry about any roads or anything. Nothing. Oh, yeah, Diana. Sorry, I died when I was on the phone to you the other day. Oh, I loved it, loved it. I think I mentioned the rest of them to you. They did, yeah. I did see the MP on the floor. You are too, if anybody says. Anyway, she's going to go. I went up to the window. I'm not going to go. 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 I'm not going to go.
Alright uh, guys, I think I'm gonna go, go down to um, try and get down to town and try and catch the Freedom March in time. It started an hour ago, but I wanted to come to this one because this one got a bit organised first, so I had made arrangements to come to this one. Do I give an interview or do you not give your opinions? I don't, I'm just there to help them all these, you know what I mean? So I'll, yeah, do, I'll do you give your opinions and stuff? Or, yeah, I can do. Yeah, yeah man. Get a quick, quick interview. That's it. Yeah, so what's your opinion about the BBC making a bo documentary about Jimmy Savile? Well, I basically myself, I think it's disgusting. It says, because of the way the BBC and the police covered up for Jimmy Savile and I don't think he should have the, the right to be mentioned again after being a paedophile like they did to them poor children. Um, and have you been on any demonstrations before? I've been on a couple, yeah. yeah. How do you find them? Do you, do you think the... Uh, I don't know how to word it. Do you think you're getting heard? Well, hopefully, we just need bigger, bigger crowds, more crowds, and more people, the more we'll get heard. And that's what we should do, we should all stand together, get bigger numbers, and tell the BBC government police that we're here, you know what I mean? Stand and proud. And what's your channel? Do you want to give yourself a little bit of a shout out? Yeah, yeah, I've got a channel on YouTube, yeah, yeah, it's called Pork Chop Audits. So if you want to go and check that guy, if you want to check it out by all means, like um, I cover all sorts of things, especially, especially corrupt stuff in the government, police, all sorts, especially the BBC being corrupt as what they've done, you know, covering up about Jimmy <laughs> So yeah. Cheers. Nice that should be now. decent, that. Yeah. I'm going to go down to, the, down to town in a minute, mate. Looks pretty, pretty oh, decent well. over there, yeah. There's quite a few turned off. Yeah. Did, that didn't get uh, organised or one week before that? Did it not? No, this, this one's been organised for way longer, so I thought this would be better. Yeah. But that's what I mean, I think they stopped trams as well, getting in and stuff. Uh, wouldn't surprise me if the Portis is on the tram tracks, then. That's what I mean, I think they stopped the trams, but the simple fact of getting people here as well, so... Oh, Nice one, mate. So, man, I'm just gonna sign off the stream. Thanks for watching, everyone. Make sure you give it a like, share it out to all your all your local groups, and give me a new YouTube channel a follow for the our live content over there as well. And I'll mostly see you watching Facebook, so make sure you follow on YouTube as well. Thank you.